Hello everybody, you're here with Claru Beauty with your host Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today uh, we're going to be talking about pink blush. Uh, this is at your request. Uh, a lot of you keep mentioning that I was doing a lot of the peachy tan sort of looks and you were very curious about more pink and coral blushes. Um, and of course I was doing those because that is what is coming out new. Uh, but it is true, it is true that, um, uh, you know, when, before I got into YouTube and before I got to be a collector of makeup, you know, when I used to just buy for myself, um, that I didn't know what trends they were in or what was new, I would go to a store and I would ask for what will look the best for me. And that usually was pinks and corals. And that was all the makeup I owned. Uh, it was not until many years later, and I'm talking probably now in my 40s, maybe 38, something like that, where I actually bought a little more browner uh, type of blush. And of course, the makeup artists at the counters always recommended me because that was a trend. That was what was, you know, new and, and happening, right? Um, but I always just wanted my pinks and plums. And it seems a lot of you also prefer if you have my coloring because obviously it uplifts us more. It gives us more that youthful sort of look. It's just that the trends keep going into a little darker skin and, and a little tanner and you know. Um, so now that I'm a collector and a YouTuber, I enjoy testing the new and I enjoy going into those strengths, even though perhaps it's not the best for my coloring. I don't know about you, but um, every time I see people with my coloring on, on magazine and things, they always go for that bold red lipstick or a very, uh, you know, blue or something very striking in the eyes that is more for editorial or for modeling, but it's not necessarily for every day, which is very interesting. Anyhow, so we're going back to why we're here, which is the pink blushes. So a lot of you asked me for this, and um, so I had to go back and see in my blush door, <laughs> where were my pink blushes? I'm not gonna pull out most of the cream blushes. Uh, because I already did a cream blush and that's where I have a little bit of the pink, but I also have peaches, etc. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing cream blushes today. It's all uh, powder, the old faithful powders. Um, what else I wanted to tell you? So, um, yeah, well, let's get started. There was a lot of more that I wanted to say, but I, I don't want to keep talking and not uh, be showing the products. Um, I didn't go through my whole door, just the ones in the front, which is usually what I pull them, pull out the most. Um, and they are my favorites. Uh, so the first thing, uh, is to tell you what I have in my face. Oh, I know what I have to update you on. So I'm trying a new light and it's up there. So the light is hitting me down. I was hoping so you can see better the colors. Let's see if if it doesn't create a lot of shades, it's right on top of me. Um, so we'll see how this looks and bear with me because I'm playing with lights and then technology and all of this, it seems like it makes a big difference and it takes a little while because what I see on the screen is not necessarily how the video turns out to be. So it's hard to, uh, technical stuff, <laughs> technical difficulties. <laughs> Hopefully I get to be a professional because apparently, you know, I love how those videos turn out. And I hear a lot of the YouTubers, they say their husbands help them. Oh, I wish, I wish. Anywho, so um, what do we have here today? I have so many, so pink and corals, right? So let's start by, um, I don't know, one of the lightest. So let's say I create any look, any look. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, um, what do I have in my face? I have number one, the Chanel, the new foundation, and I'm still trying it. And I have the Tone 4 Contour that if you see any of my videos before uh, that says it's a full face, that I start from scratch. Uh, I always showcase how I apply it. It's either this or the Biscuit Stick from Westman Atelier. So that's what I have a little bit. And I do that just because I wanted to frame my face a little bit, but that's all I have. A little bit of the eyebrow, which I also have a tutorial 
and the pencil I use for everything. If you notice, it's not as pronounced as in that tutorial because I only use a pencil lightly just to sort of frame my eyebrows. All right. And on my lips, I'm not wearing any uh, lip liner. I have a combination, uh, which I'll do a video on this lipsticks after this because I think if not, it will get too long. But um, I'm wearing a little bit of Dior 772 and which I felt it was too much. So I just apply a little bit and then I try the new and this is going to be featured in the next video. The new formula Rouge Dior 200. It's a bomb. It's the, one of the new ones. And so I did apply some of that, but you can't really tell how it works because I combined it, those two, I apologize. Um, but the next video will be on this. I'm comparing it with Chanel, with Bobbi Brown, with NARS, you know, several of sort of the same um, kind of coloring. So, you know, check that out. Anywho, all right, let's start. So one big favor that I believe is a must, is a must because it doesn't matter what look I create, if formal, informal, daily, casual, whatever look, if I need a little bit of, mm, you know, like I say, I, I, I just need a little something, something in my face, something pinky, something wake me up sort of thing. I always pull this beauty, which is the Rosy Glow from Dior. I mean, I believe it's just a complete must. If you haven't tried this, do. Um, I don't know. I think I got this in the department store. That's why it comes like this. But they have it at uh, Sephora. And they have it in the backstage. Because whatever Dior sells at Sephora, mostly. They have the backstage line. Which is great, really. The whole line is good. Uh, so they sell it in in this kind of case because the whole backstage line is supposed to be for makeup artists. So it's not so much about the presentation of the product. It's more of the products. Um, and so you can get it like this. Uh, it's just the pink glow, you know, the rosy glow. It's just that I got it in the department store. So I did get the whole, you know, the whole nice little thing, even though this is a little transparent plasticky. And then it comes with the brush. The brush is great. So, I mean, if you want the the luxury feel for it, get it like this. But if not, this one without a brush uh, probably is less expensive. I'm not sure. But get the rose glow. So, I know it looks super, super, super pink in here, but it's not. It comes across transparent. So, let me show you. So, if I just grab a little bit, right, and I just do this, you would say there's nothing, you know? But there is, there's that rosiness. I mean, can you look at that? No rosiness. You see that rosiness? So it already, it starts bringing rosiness to my cheek without being a rose. Um, look at that, yeah, you can tell. And this immediately starts uplifting me. I'm just gonna keep putting a little bit. Um, and it starts turning the pinkish uplift that we all look for in the pink blushes, right? So, so for me, this is a must. So if you haven't, if you don't have it, there you go. Now, the other one that is new to my collection, um, and at the beginning when I first got it, I'm like, oh my God, it's too light. It doesn't even show. This is the Chantikai, the butterfly. Uh, it's called Bliss. Now, this one, um it's so light it reminds me of the ones that are that have been coming out now for spring 2022 you know the dior that is barely there and then there's the chanel that is barely there although the chanel is more in the peachy orangey realm the new dior um uh that is oh i don't remember right now the name but it's brand new uh is so so light I've been considering buying it to try it. And I go back and forth because it's one of those blushes that won't really show. However, you know, if it gives a little rosier, but I think it will give less than this. So I think it will be more like this. So let's try this. Now, also the lightest of the Tom 4 is supposed to be very close to this. Um, so if you're lighter than me, 
it does show, but see, I'm, I'm picking up the, the, the product, right? So I, okay. And then when I apply it, it doesn't really show on my cheeks, but the reason I'm letting you know about it, it does something. I, I don't know if it's, it blurs a little bit or it lights up a little bit, especially when you have a, a full blush with color, which we'll get into. And then you apply this on the top. It doesn't work as a highlighter because it is not really highlighting or have that sparkles or illuminating or anything. But this blurring in a lighter sort of color does give that effect and, and it gives the effect of a beautiful skin. Um, so again, I, I don't think I can get away with just this as a blush. I would need a little something more. Uh, and the same in this size, even though that looks nice, right? It's like, oh yeah, it's cute. So I might get away with it, but I probably wouldn't. I use this mostly, um, I don't know if you notice, I apply like three or four layers, uh, but just for you to see it. But usually I wouldn't, I would just put one or two. So uh, you couldn't really tell I applied it, but it will do the uplifting sort of, uh, I don't know, well, I don't know if you can see, you know, it does give a little youthful or pinkish or whatever. And in this side, not necessarily, but you would say there's nothing there, but there is, there is. And, and so to use it on top of a really, which will get blush and, and you'll see, but I needed to start with this because I wanted to show you the, the lightness of the color, right? If I would have applied on top of the actual blushes that we're gonna get into, you wouldn't really see what I mean that it's, it's really almost not there. All right, so now one of, some of my favorites, um, and one of you mentioned this one. Well, I'll get to that one. So one, some of my, fa two of my favorites, of course, Chanel had to be there, and it is uh, Rose Initial. This is a classic, a classic, a classic. It doesn't matter what look I'm doing. If I'm looking for a pinkish or just something to blend or just something to, to throw in there, if I'm making a big eye look or whatever, and I just need a nice pinkish blush that is not gonna be the center of attention, this is it. I love this. This is another of the must for a different reason. Now, this is Rose Initial. There are many rose something in Chanel blushes, you know, like there's rose this, rose that, rose this in the blushes. The favorites, it's not necessarily this one, they're a little lighter. And so I'm thinking perhaps closer to the butterfly or something, but those will not show in my skin. Will not show, like rose ecrine, I think is one. And they're a little more browner, I think. But if those work for you, uh, then perhaps we're in a different tone of skin because I try them, but they were just too light. They don't show, it will do something like this. But this Rose Initial is perfect for my skin. Um, so in that note, in Chanel, that is one of my favorites and it, I, I pull it out, it's, it's a mass in, in, in my view. And then in Dior, uh, there is one of the favorites, and this, this is a bestseller, the Rose Montagne. This is uplifting spring. It does show the color, and I guess I'll swatch it for you, but uh, this is really, mm, you know, even if you just want to put a blush and a little lip and go, this is it. Now, the only thing about this one, and let me swatch it for you. So this is Dior. I, I, I don't like swatching blushes because it's, it's uh, you know, well, you'll see. Okay, so that is the Dior um, Rose Montagne 219. I don't like um, swatching the blushes because I don't think by swatching them, you really will see how they look on the, on the, and we'll play on the cheeks, of course, but, so now I'm gonna swatch so this is a Rose Montagne and this is Rose Initial from Chanel and this is Dior. Now, if you can see, that's why I said this is a mask. This will be just a filler. It looks nice, etc. This one is more for a look, right? The Dior. This one will give you a color and so a look. I apologize for my dog as usual. It's an embarrassment. <laughs> Not. It doesn't bark all day. It's just when I'm in camera for some reason. All right. 
So, and I'll put some in my cheeks in a little bit. Um, so those two are a must. Now I have this Dior, is this it? Yeah. I pulled this one out. This is not on the, on the pinkish. This is actually cocktail peach. And so it goes in the peach, but I pull it out because it's something that I use quite often, even if it's a pinkish look. Uh, and let me, because I feel it has enough pink in it, even though it's peach, this one, you see, it is more in the brown peachy, got it, got it. That was as far as I used to go on the peachy side. But I thought of including it because those three, I think they're so neutral, they're so uplifting, they work. I mean, if you have my coloring, um, I recommend the three. All right, so let's let's push now a little bit more in, in real going towards pink because these are kind of neutral, save your life, they're pink, but so the next one I want to show you is, and I bought this, this, it was a collection that came out. I think it's still going on. This is Rose Petillant. So this was supposed to be um, a new, unique sort of a blush. And one of your subscribers said you had this. So I was very happy that I did have it and that we can showcase it. Probably I can do a look with that and the new cream blushes or something um, to play with this a little bit more. Now I'll show you here, can you see? Yeah, swatching blushes, huh? Okay. So that is that one. Now compared to, whoa. all right, there you go. I don't know if you can see. So that one compared to the middle of this, right? It's Rose Initial. They're very, very close. I actually, if I had known that, I probably would not have bought, bought both because they're very, very close in in um, in the color that it, they show. However, I think the rose uh, petillon, which is this, and this is a, has a little more of a shine to it. Okay, you can see it in camera, and so um, it will be a little more. Um, you know, showcasing this to me compares to the um, to the Dior one that I was telling you about, Rose Montagne. Not because they're the same color. You can see this one perhaps has a little more peach in it, even though it looks rosier. Um, this is definitely in the pink, right? Uh, but it has a little more. I wouldn't say sparkle, but it has some shimmer or some, which is perfect for spring and summer and it's perfect for that uplifting, right? Because you look a little more uh, glowy, but without going to glowy, it's still um, a beautiful blush that slides through, right? But I just wanted to point it out there and we'll, and, and we'll try some. I'm just trying to decide which one so, you, so I can showcase the most out of it, even though right now I'm looking a little, um, let's put something up so I don't keep looking a little uneven. All right, so mm, 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 what should I do? Because I want you to see. All right, so I'm gonna push the, the rose petillon on the left side just because I think it's the most pinkiest and after all, this is the pinkiest blushes video, right? But all of the, all of the ones I'm showing you has pink beautiful so now let's equalize the other side because that was the whole purpose and so i guess what i can showcase you right at this moment is this is with the combination of the other very pink and this is just by itself i don't know if you can tell i can't through the camera but i don't know if it's translating uh this one it has that little pinkish to it. Uh, this one, even though it's pink, I mean, you can't get pinker than this, right? Well, you can't, because I'll show you the other ones. Um, but it doesn't have the rosy glowy uh, that I'm telling you, this is just, um, you know, it does wonders. Okay, you'll see it right here. Look how this one looks. And then let's just apply that little pink as if it was a highlighter right here because I want it to uplift, but I do bring it to the cheek and then a little bit. You see, 
it does bring that tee -tee 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 -tee, that uh, if, if I, as I was blustering, right? So again, um, I wouldn't get these two, I would get one or the other, but there is a difference. This one is a little more matte and, and blowing, the same colors, but this one has that little mm, kind of sparkly, glowy uh, sort of thing. All right, can you tell on the on the thing? Yeah, I mean, this is a rose, in, um, me and my name, Petland. This is a Ropentia, the one that I tell you has a little bit of chine or going through or whatever. And this one, this one is, you see, it's a little more subtle, a little more, um, I guess a little more loses within the skin. So your your cheeks look like you soak them in. So it becomes one. And I'm exaggerating because they both do. They're both our Chanel quality, right? But you get the point. But again, I wouldn't get both. Um, all right. So the other one I wanted to show you when I really want to go pink. Like, uh yeah, we're going pink because yes, this one's we're going pink, especially this one, right? Uh, and this one. But now we have Marc Jacobs and this is Lush and Libido Air Blush. Now, I'm not sure if they discontinued this one. They only have like four, not like six shades. I think I got two of them, the coral and this one. And um, so I'm going to swatch it right here. Oh, yeah. So look at that. So this one is the Rose Pentiel and this one is the Marc Jacobs. Pink. I mean, even this looks peachy now, right? And uh, compared to, yeah, the one in the middle here. See, these ones are fading away. I guess that's what happens on the cheeks. But uh, so the Rose Initial keeps being the pinkiest. And, and this one is Rose Initial, but ramped up in in color now what i used to do or when i wear this you know it has this very light 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 thing so i guess that would compare to to something of course this doesn't look pink anymore right but uh so i would place a little bit of that very light color on the top and then a little bit of this kind of right here so it wouldn't be so but when you go through the brush like this, which is what I did to swipe this, I mean, it, it, mix, it mixes the two colors, so it creates a little bit of, of a, a nice effect every time you mix two colors. It just gives you a smoother, nicer effect, especially one that is close to your skin color, per se. Uh, but it will be too, too pink, too pink. So I had to be very light, very careful, and really just go like this and try to get the lightest color on top. So this blush I would use when you really want um, a very predominant cheek look. I mean, that it is part of the look or perhaps a very bold lips. So you want something that kind of goes together. But again, I'm not sure if that one is still um, for sale. So, sorry, I had to put him on another table over here. Um, one that I pull out when I'm in a hurry and I don't know and, and you know, which one would I pull, whatever, it's, it's kind of in the front because I just like uh, fast and easy. It is the Hourglass and I have the Ambient. I think this was last year's, not this year's, um, you know, holiday collection. I didn't buy this year's because I had this. And, uh, and you know, Hourglass blushes and powders, there's some people that swear by them and they love how the ambient effect does. It's not my favorite. It doesn't necessarily work that well for me because I have dry skin or because it just doesn't blur my skin like a, like a cloud sort of look like it does for other people. But it is one of my mom's favorite. She, I mean, I buy the holiday and I did buy this year's and last year's and I always buy that for her. So, uh, and for her, it, it makes a huge difference when she wears it and when she doesn't. And she likes it because it comes six shades and she has there the part of the blush, the bronzer, 
and she's not very precise and she doesn't care and she kind of goes all over <laughs> so last year she kept the big one and i just kept the small one which is this and so i leave it there because i feel bad for not using it i'm like i have to use it sometimes so when i'm in a hurry or i don't know what to do or i, da, 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 I pull this out and so i use a little pink uh, if I need a little more brown, if I need a little neutral, if I need a little peachy coral, if I need, or I mix them all together. That's why I keep this. But you can tell it's barely used, right? I mean, barely used. I have too much, really. Uh, but I just think it's good to have. I mean, either you want to buy the six pans because it's just a lot more economical or one of these, or wait until next year when it comes. But I, I do recommend them, I, I do like them. And I know they're favorites. I mean, a lot of people really, really enjoy them. So there you have it. Um, so another used to be one of my favorites uh, growing up, 20s, 30s, 40s. Um, and I heard at some point, I don't know if it's just the advertisement, maybe it's not true, I don't know, in magazines you read, that the royal, you know, in, in British, in England, you know, like Kate, and um, that they were Bobby Brown, and that they were this colors. Uh, and I guess so, because she has a little bit of my coloring. Um, but I did love this blush forever, and this is the pale pink. Pell Pink from Bobbi Brown. I think this is also one of those, you know, it's good to have in your collection sort of thing. And interesting enough, I think they're drying on me because they're not new. Um, and so I give them credit that they're, because when I say they're not new, they're not new. <laughs> I don't even want to know how old. <laughs> but you see, now now we're talking pink i mean even the rose initial doesn't look that pink i mean even the pentiel look at this um now when compared to the mark jacobs uh it's a different kind of pink this is a pale pink just like its name describes it and the pale pink i think it gives a very similar effect to the rosy glow now, let me uh, swatch it right next to it, except, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. The, okay, this is a rosy glow, barely shows. It just gives you that transparent pink uplift or filter. Uh, the pale pink shows. So you do, you can use it as a blush. You remember at the beginning, I put this to the point that you could see it and I said, ah, oh, da, 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 da but I wouldn't just leave it alone. I wouldn't just wear it alone because it was not enough. The pale pink is enough. You will look this color, it's beautiful. Especially with the Bobbi Brown lipsticks, which I have plenty, um, which kind of bring that natural lip to your lips without being nude. I mean, they're more in the, uh, the what do they call it? Raspberry, uh, you know, brownie uh you know rose or pink something so they are a little more um let's see if i can pull one right here right now let's see so i have neutral rose let me just let me, maybe this other one okay roseberry all right so let me just swatch a little bit so you know what i mean so here of course these are real lipstick so we're, we're not in the nude I didn't even pull them out for the next video I'm going to make. So this is Roseberry. So it would really bring out. Maybe I should wear some right now to showcase. But And then this is um, Neutral Rose. And I love this lipstick from Bobbi Brown. If you have my coloring, see, this is very rose. This is a lot bolder uh, Raspberry. They look beautiful. But if I want to stay a little bit on the nude, okay, I'm going to put a little bit of this neutral rose. How beautiful. Mm. So neutral rose, it's one of those very natural, without being in the nudes that are now in style, right? But this is more in the pinks, corals. So I will wear that or the other one I show you, which is bolder. 
Oh, I think I dropped it. So I, I now I'm not gonna do it right now. And then I'll put a little bit, I know I'm putting it on top, but you already see the color by its own. And of course, I'll just put a little bit and you'll see the shift that um, immediately my cheeks and my whole look will make, right? But this will get bold. I mean, oh, but I'm telling you, this is a, one of those colors that goes through time. And if you have my coloring, um, you cannot go wrong. I mean, talking about going in a pink and beautiful look, I mean, come on. Yeah, Bobbi Brown, um, I was a big fan. Bobbi Brown is one of those that, since I can remember, uh, they were always in enhancing your natural beauty in a very natural way. So this whole thing about uh, natural and all makeup, no makeup, all of this, um, is always being the theme of Bobbi Brown. So all their makeup is really uh, to emphasize. And I have feature, I think I have one Bobbi Brown video because I even haven't got to my Bobbi Brown products. Uh, but this, these are for me like the classics, you know, I know there's Chanel, Dior and Bobbi Brown, at least that's what I grew up with. Uh, and then of course there's the Lancome and then, but those three were my, my big time. And I have it, let's see, I'll just pull one out if I can find it here real quick. Uh, because the big ones, and I do definitely recommend is, and Bobby Brown had several, is the duos. So she comes out, these are limited edition, but she comes out with these things where there's a bronzer and a blush. In this case, these are rounds. I have several of the rounds. I think those were the older way. Now she makes like two squares. It's a rectangle. And, and let's see if I have one here that I can show you the the way they come out now. Yeah, I think they come out more like this, but of course with the bronzer and blush. Um, I recommend those because you can't go wrong with having your bronzer and your blush right there and there. And if you just wanna, one and done, fast and easy, get out of the thing. I mean, I will have this and uh, one of the lipsticks I show you, probably the one I'm wearing. And let me just put a little bit of this bronzer. And this is strong bronzer, so even if you're a little darker than me. Um, but it creates a beautiful shading. And then you put the, the whew, look at that. And you have to be careful because I'm telling you, this blush, and once it goes on, it stays on. And so you can do that. And then if you have a little, uh, um, you know, brush, you can take some of the bronzer and then just sort of emphasize your crease. And put some mascara. And I'm telling you, this is all you need. <laughs> Like, you see, they also have uh, the Bobbi Brown bronzer in a small little things like this. So you could actually, let's see if I have, like you could actually, all right, so I have here, see, this is a bronzer. Look how tiny it is. So you could have a full size blush in this bronzer and the lipstick and have, you know, your whole makeup. <laughs> of course, not talking about, perhaps you take a, you know, one of my big secrets that I share with you, the Dior Dual Powder. So you put the Dual Powder instead of foundation, and then you do this and this. And I have dry skin. So we're talking from dry skin girl, and I'm suggesting no liquids, no creams, no nothing. Those, those things, um, your skin looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. So FYI. And then, you know, I see the whole thing of makeup that I have and, and that's all I would need. And it actually makes me look, I mean, you'll be the judge, of course, but to me, <laughs> youthful, nice, natural, 
um, like I didn't try much and of course I have I would have to put my mascara but all right so getting back to um, we're almost done of course we're almost done so um, another ones I had this one it never has worked for me I need to go back to it I keep saying this is a Sigma uh, Core de Rosa it looks more peachy brownish, but I had to pull it out because in the name it's called Core de Rosa. And if you look at the Sigma sort of um, makeup, um, this is probably the rosier because all the other ones are either darker or peachier or whatever. At least that's what I remember. I'm not very big on Sigma. I never really got into their makeup. I, I bought that because it was a super favorite and I just wanted to try it. I haven't used it. So I can't even talk much about it. Another one that was a big time, you know, more in my 20s. But I did, I, I still have a lot of their products, which is MAC. Are you a fan of MAC? You like MAC? I think they always had great colors. So this is another pink here. This is called Love Cloud. And this one, if I remember correctly, I purchased it because they gave me a full look. For a wedding I think um, and so the lipstick I wanted was from them and so I asked which this is the this is the color so it I think it will be more like rose in, initial from Chanel you know it's one of those goes with everything just puts a little bit of pinkish not not like this but just a nice soft that will finish any look and so I did use this quite a bit. I still like it. I will pull it out for that. If I was doing an informal event and I had done my eyes quite a bit and I just wanted a little, not a rosier glow to bring my whole look into rosy, but something that will just bring a little bit to my, to my cheeks. I will definitely pull this one or of course the Chanel Rose Initial, which I said, it, those are the ones that I will pull that I think will work with any look across brands, across, um, you know, what, what you want it for, you know, one of those things that is just perfect. It's enough. <laughs> There's a saying just to, it, it's too long, but too long, but not too long, too short, but not too short, <laughs> you know, too hot, but not too hot. So this one is, is pink pink but not too pink <laughs> um and then of course i don't know if i'm going to continue because i have others um another one i don't even know if that one is still available i would still look because it was one of my big time favorites um that was smashbox and not this one i have this one which has the three shades uh they have rich berry true berry and highlight berry so this ones were very useful also. Mm, you can tell I use them not that much, but there was another one like this and it came with a bronzer, a blush and a highlight. Now that one, oh my God, I travel everywhere with it because it had the three things, but the shades are very, very nice. So, um, just FYI, and you know, I'm just looking at myself and I just want to blur it a little bit. I am hoping that you're liking this um, showcasing and that you're liking this look. I just immediately thought, I'm like, maybe they don't even like how it looks. <laughs> Another one, and real quick, I have here will be the um, Bare Minerals. Those were gray blushes. This is more in the mauve, but they had gray or they have um, bare minerals because it's a bare mineral, right? So they really go into your skin. I don't use them that much, but I do have several. I also had some of the Becca. Uh, these were also great. I think Becca sold. And so now it's not gonna be Becca anymore. So I don't know what happened to their blushes. So I'm not even gonna go into it. Of course, I have to mention, I did mention the butterfly from Chantikai, which is like that. They also have, I also have one that is their coral. It has a little more corally to it. It's also very lovely. I don't know if I should pull it now because of time, but, but last but not least, I do have to mention 
Uh, this is Chantikai, look at that pink. This is their uh, holiday edition. It, they're still available, probably not forever, but this is the Akoya that it came in this beautiful pearl sort of thing. I do have them on top of my vanity because I this is lovely. Um, and so I'll swatch this for you. I thought because of the color and the thing, it was gonna be a lot pinkier, but it's not and it's okay. This is it. Well, I guess it is compared to the other ones, right? Wow, it is. Well, this is why I bought it because on all the pictures and Instagram and all that, it looked very pinky. So it reminded me of the pale pink from Bobby Brown. It reminded me of the rose initio from Chanel, etc. So I really thought it was gonna go that way. But when I apply it, um, it looks a little more like I'm wearing right now. It doesn't look as pale pink. Of course, I did apply pale pink, but I applied on top of the other one. So, um, it, it looks a little more coral um, than this pale pink. Does that make sense? Yeah, so it looks a little more uh, pink, but not the pale pink that we're going with right now. Um, so it's still very lovely, especially because I bought it to go with the, with the holiday edition lipstick, which is very bold and pink and kind of a passion pink from, from Chanel. So they go well together. All right, so I don't wanna go into that because I actually have a video on that. So if you wanna look how that one looks, I'll link it down below and you can see the highlight, the blush and the lips for that holiday collection. All right, so I think we're gonna wrap up now. I hope you like this look. Um, I'm gonna film next a video on the brownish, not this sort of lipsticks, perhaps I can do one on rosier lipsticks. I think I did one, but yeah, I did one if you want to check it out, but it was not on lipsticks. It was on balms, kind of a pinkish lips. Um, uh, when you just want like a natural pink, kind of a, your lips felt better, but in a pinkish sort of way. And there were mostly balms. So you can check that out if you're interested. I'm going to do now more in the very light nude brownish sort of, line so you can check that video which will be coming up in the next kind of days but i can do another one where i actually go through this kind of very pinkish neutral but lipstick sort of looks because it's different than bombs and, and kind of I, i'm not wearing anything sort of look here you can tell i am wearing but it is in that natural uplifting youthful pinkish sort of thing so i'm gonna wrap it up here let me know what you think let me 